Hey everyone! Today we're going to cook something that so many of you guys have been requesting. Penang asam laksa, but vegan. These are all the ingredients we're going to need. First up, let's prepare our paste. We're going to need 6 red chilies. Let's just give them a rough chop so they're easier to blend later. Next, let's soak 6 dried red chilies in hot water. Feel free to add more if you want it spicier. While waiting for that to soak, let's peel and roughly chop 4 red onions. We also need 4 cloves of garlic. And then get 3 stalks of lemongrass. We're just going to cut them into smaller slices so they're nice and smooth later. Next, we need half an inch of galangal. They're usually pretty hard to blend, so cutting them into smaller pieces will make sure it gets blended properly. Peel about 1 cm of fresh turmeric. Now, let's dump everything into the blender. The last thing we need for our paste is blachan, but of course we're not going to be using real blachan. To replicate that funky taste, we're going to use this. Fermented soybeans or tauchu. We need one tablespoon of this. And for the fishiness, we need two sheets of seaweed. Roughly tear and add them into the blender. Blend this on high for a few minutes until it's quite smooth. Then let's pour it into a bowl and set aside. In a traditional asam laksa, there's usually tiny bits of fish in the broth. Let's make something to mimic that. Into a blender, tear in one sheet of seaweed. Next, we're going to season it with two teaspoons of kombu dashi powder. If you don't have this, you can sub it with mushroom seasoning and just add extra seaweed. Lastly, let's spoon in a 240 gram block of firm tofu. Blend this until you get a tofu puree. Prepare a lined baking tray and spray lightly with oil. Then pour the tofu puree onto the tray. Use an offset spatula or spoon to smooth it into one even layer. Now we're going to bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's well dehydrated and looks almost like fruit leather. We're going to set this aside while we prepare our broth. Get a large pot ready and pour in 1.5 litres of water. Bruise 3 stalks of lemongrass and add it into the water. Next, we need bunga kantan or torch ginger flour and daun kusum or Vietnamese coriander. These two ingredients are essential to making authentic asam laksa. They both have a fragrant, spicy but floral flavour that makes laksa laksa. You really can't substitute this for anything else. For the flour, we're going to cut off the stalk and then halve it straight down the middle. Place into the pot. You can leave the daun kusum on its stalk and add them whole. For an extra layer of oceany flavour, let's add some kombu. You can add it in here whole, but cutting them into little pieces like this gives the broth some texture and that will really help give the illusion of having flake fish. Now we can finally add our paste in. Turn the heat onto medium and start heating it to a low simmer. While it's getting there, let's add the asam or sour element of the asam laksa. We need about 3 pieces of asam keping or asam gelugo. These are actually called tamarind slices in English even though they're not actually a tamarind fruit at all. Go figure. But we also need actual tamarind juice. I'm using store-bought tamarind paste but feel free to use fresh tamarind juice. The sourness of asam laksa is really a personal thing. If you like it with more tang, add more tamarind juice or more asam keping. To season the broth, let's add 1 tablespoon of kombu dashi powder and 1 tablespoon of mushroom seasoning. We also need some salt and about 1.5 tablespoons of sugar. The broth should have a nice balance of sour, salty, umami and sweetness. So taste as you go along and adjust the seasonings to your liking. Once the broth is simmering quite nicely, let's retrieve our tofu and start tearing them into small pieces. Add them to the pot. The tofu will add a bit of bite and body to the broth. Let this broth simmer for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my future recipes. While waiting, let's quickly chop up our toppings and garnishes. Get a fresh pineapple and cut it up into small pieces. Slice a red chilli nice and thin. Roll up some lettuce leaves and finely slice. Then we need a cucumber. Remove the seeds and cut into matchsticks. Halve some limes and then let's slice some onions. Lastly, finally mince bunga kantan for some extra fragrance and green chilli padi for extra heat. Now we can add our laksa noodles into a nice deep bowl. Pour the amazing broth over the noodles. Look at how thick it is. It's packed full of flavour and texture just like the traditional one. Arrange all our toppings and garnishes on top and you're ready to dig in. I'll be posting a recipe for this vegan hard-boiled egg soon so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it. 
In the meantime, check out these other vegan egg recipes and I'll see you over there.